if we compare to uh, with last year, I think it's uh, it's equivalent, but it's very different. Um, last year, everybody was looking for core non-risky assets. What we see is that the people continue to look for this kind of assets, but there is a, there is something new in that some investors are now ready to consider risk or to consider things that are considered risky for others. And I mean, if you um, if you take, uh, I'm not talking about location because in location you shouldn't compromise on that. But uh, I'm talking about uh, elements of vacancy or uh, some uh, capex you need to do in the buildings. And if you have the right skills, if you're equipped to do that locally, where the asset is, some clients are, uh, I think, ready to follow you. And in this context, what we are trying to do is offer products that uh, that offer higher yield. Um, it means uh, not necessarily in terms of sectors, uh, offices versus retail versus logistic, even if we have a, a big uh, strategy uh, and a big opportunity coming with uh, logistic, uh, where we are a, a big player and we, in fact we are raising equity to uh, increase the size of our logistic fund, which will provide some kind of a 7% cash and cash yield. So in a, in a low yielding environment, it's very attractive. Otherwise, it's, um, it's not a question of sectors, it's a question of finding the, the right return and higher return, not taking uh, additional risk, but taking what we consider a measured risk. If you are again properly uh, equipped, it means uh, buying some vacant buildings or partially vacant, or buildings where the uh, lease length is not that uh, long, and when suddenly the yield is completely different. So, uh, and because there are fewer people interested in these kind of things. Everybody's looking at the uh, very core, very long leases, very well located, very well built, no risk at all, or perceived like that, because one day you will have to take risk by the, uh, uh, by the way. So uh, we, we try to um, do it differently and build our own core assets. So you, build, you buy assets that are potentially core and you bring them to a core level you make them core again, because most of the time they used to be core, but it's different risk and initially different asset management skills and asset management objectives you have to, uh, to go through.